going to do a quick session on setting up product comps or mock-ups working directly in Corel Draw. We've been working with the Tone Curve tool in this video session, very powerful raster tool that works directly in Corel Draw. You know, that's one of the benefits of working with Corel Draw is you have all the power of Corel Draw as a vector application, but then again, all of the power that you get for the bitmap or raster editing in Corel Draw, and they all come together directly in the application. I won't have to go out to Adobe Photoshop and I won't have to go into Corel Photo Paint to set up this comp very easily. You're going to see some things here that I'm pretty sure you've never seen before. But once you get used to working with these easy to use tools for bitmap editing Corel Draw, you'll be able to set up product comps literally in a matter of a minute or less every time you need to. And of course, these are great for marketing, putting them on your website, putting together flyers and PDF catalogs that you can mail out to clients, etc. And being able to set these up easily with a photographic look really presents a professional image when you're doing your marketing or putting together your website. To get started here, I want to take a look at a setting we'll need in Corel Draw related to our color management for this to work correctly. First thing you want to do is go to Tools, and we'll come down here to Color Management, and we'll go over to Default Settings. And for the techniques that I'm going to show you in this video to work correctly, you have to have your presets set to Simulated Color Management Off. If there's another setting in here, these techniques aren't going to work correctly. Go ahead and select OK. Now to get started here, the first thing I want to do is go ahead and duplicate my blank here. And I've got a blank of a dark red t-shirt. And I wanted to work with the dark red so I could show you some things about how to deal with the shading on the product comps, especially when you're dealing with darker colors. Go ahead and duplicate this over here. And the first thing I want to do is change this. You can see it's RGB here. I'm going to change this to a CMYK bitmap. So I'll go bitmaps mode and I'll select CMYK. Now once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this because I'll need two copies. I'm going to separate the black or the shading from the color in the image and then use that split to create my photographic product comp. So the first thing I'll do is I'll go here and I'll select one of the images that I converted to the CMYK. And I'll simply come up here and I'll go to Effects, Adjust, and then I'm going to go to Tone Curve. Now here we can see that Active Channel is set to CMYK. I'm going to change my Active Channel to black. And we can see we got the black color here. And then I'll very simply come up here and grab this dot or node, left click, hold down, drag this all the way down, and select OK. And you can see what I've done here is I've removed the black from the image. So all I have is the red, the color, or the hue. The next thing I'm going to do is take the image that I duplicated or created through duplicating. I'm going to go to Effects, Adjust in here. I'm just going to go ahead and pull all the color out of it. So I'll go to Tone Curve. I'll change my active channel to Cyan first. I'll just left click and drag down here. Now I want to go ahead and reset here and I'll change this back to straight and then I'll go ahead and change this to cyan again just so I get this correctly and then left click drag down all the way and you can see what happens here is I removed all the cyan but there's really no cyan in the image so you're not seeing any change. But when I come here to magenta you'll start to see some change. Left click drag this all the way down and we just removed our magenta. Now red is a combination in CMYK of magenta and yellow. So I'll come down here and I'll change my active channel to yellow, left click, pull this down here, and select OK. Now here I've split the black from the color. So I can take my graphic, which is right here, and just place this on the color as a full front and just reposition that. Go ahead and move this here. And that'll be fine right there. Now I'm going to make sure that this is set correctly. So I'll go ahead and lasso this. I'll go right click. I'll select order and I'll go in front of, which is down here. You can't see it. And I'll now click on the actual color of the t-shirt. Make sure that's in the right place. Now if I take my shading here, which I can see is on top of the red bitmap that I split and hold down shift and then I hit C and E, you can see that now I've covered up the shirt color and the graphic with that black that I split. And I'm going to need to change the properties on this bitmap of the black or the shading of the shirt. And I'll do that by going over here to the transparency tool. I'll come up here and change none to uniform and I'll come down here and change this to subtract and I'll go ahead and bring this back to zero. Now we can see that we've set this up so that we've got a nice split of the color and the shading but the shading is a little bit too strong on top of the actual graphic. Well to deal with that I can do something very simple. I'll go ahead and take this here and I'm just going to go ahead and copy and then paste it in. And actually I want to go ahead and delete that. So I'll hit Control Z and the best thing to do here is actually I'll hit Control Z again is just select this and go cut and then paste and I'll put that in on top. Now I still want this shading here so I'm going to take the black of the shading and I'm going to go ahead and do something with it to change it so I don't have so much shading on the actual graphic itself. 
I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go ahead and copy this and that'll be saved onto my clipboard. Then I'm going to go to my transparency tool and I'm going to change this starting point of the transparency to about 30 right there. Now that's going to make that a little bit, little bit lighter, but you'll see what I'm going to do here. Now I got that on my clipboard, that copy that I made. I'll go ahead and paste that in. Now you can see that that's very dark, but I'll go back to the transparency here and I'll change this transparency up to about 70 right about there. And you can see that I've still got the shading using the two blacks with their transparency adjusted, one to 70, the other one to 30. So I've still got 100% of the color just in two gray images, but I've made an adjustment to the amount of shading that's showing up on my graphic so it doesn't look like it's overpowered by the shading of the dark red. And we can see that the black is actually making the dark red color coming off of the red hue. Now, once you understand how this works, you can practice with it, get some images off of Google Images for blank products and blank t-shirts. Then you'll be able to very easily put together marketing materials, product comps, or images you can export into a PDF file and send to your clients for approval for your print jobs or set up nice graphics for your galleries on your custom product or custom t-shirt website. So we'll go ahead and wrap here and we'll see you in our next video.